a point moves along a circle with the velocity v is equal to a t where a is equal to 0 0.50 meter per second square find the total acceleration of the point at the moment when it covered the nth fraction of the circle after beginning of the motion now as the particle is moving in a circle and velocity is given this much v is equal to at means velocity is variable and hence this is a situation of non uniform circular motion non uniform circular motion because v is a variable and what we have to find out we have to find out the total acceleration and we know the total acceleration of the particle moving in the circle is say a and that is equal to a t square means the square of the tangential acceleration plus square of the centripetal acceleration also we know that the tangential acceleration is equal to rate of change of speed with respect to time so if we substitute the value from here d by dt and the value of v is a t so we get a so tangential acceleration is equal to a and the value of a we know that is 0 0.50 meter per second square now the centripetal acceleration is equal to v square by r now r is the radius of the circle and from here if we put the value of v so that is a square t square by r now we don't know this value of time at which the particle has covered the nth fraction of the circle so our next objective is to calculate that time in which the particle has covered this nth fraction of the circle so we or you can write ds is equal to v dt value of v is given here v is equal to at so this is at dt if we integrate it on both sides ds is equal to integration at dt and this d ds this ds is changing from 0 to nth fraction of the circle so when the particle moves the complete circle it is 2 pi r and nth fraction means we have to multiply it with n so the limits of this ds is from 0 to 2 pi r into n and we are taking the limit of time from t is equal to 0 to time t clear so this is the time at which this much fraction of the total distance has been covered so if we solve it we get 2 pi r n equal to half a t square or t square is equal to 4 pi r n divided by a now if we substitute this value of t square from here in this formula for the centripetal acceleration so it is a square by r into t square is 4 pi r n divided by a so we get the centripetal acceleration as 4 pi n into a clear now if we substitute this value of a t and a c in this result a is equal to a t square that is equal to a square plus 4 pi n into a square so that is equal to a into 1 plus 4 pi n whole square and if we substitute the value and solve this we will get 0 0.78 meter per second square and this is our result